Yo bros and sisters, welcome to Unemployment Tube, where tonight we're going to cook a shepherd's pie. You join me in the uh, emergency kitchen, kitchenette if you like, of uh, my workshop area. And if nothing else, this video will show to you just how important proper directors and proper editors are in the world of television. I'm sorry the lighting is poor and all the rest of it. Anyway, we're going to make a shepherd's pie, and I mean just straightforward hospital specification shepherd's pie. You will hear a lot of boring food head types saying how they like to go to this or that insert fashionable name restaurant and then they say oh my favourite dish is the shepherd's pie as if that makes them all sort of down and one of the people. Well this isn't a dish, this is simply a pie. So what is in a shepherd's pie? Well you know roughly it is minced lamb, this is just normal minced lamb from the local supermarket, nothing special, onion which you cook with it and then on top of that you have potato mashed up with a little bit of cheese on the top to give it sort of slightly crusty goodness and you might mix into a bit of that, most people do some tomato puree, those are the standard bits. Now the things I like to add in my version are some mushrooms, again these are just perfectly normal ones in the supermarket around the corner, in fact those are the ones on special offer, they're just mushrooms. Um, I also put in a small chilli because Lamb is a very fatty meat and the chilli just gives a little bit of heat that sort of cuts through the cloying fattiness, livens it up a bit, but don't go mad, just a little bit like that, we're not making a jar frazy, remember? Uh, and then finally, hang on a minute, some green cardamom pods, these things. The reason for that is we know from Indian cooking that these go very well with lamb, they give it a little bit of fizz. Think of a keema curry, for example, that's what the Indians would do, they'd put a bit of green cardamom in. This is multiculturalism in action in the kitchen. Uh, what else? Oh yes, this bottle of Chateauneuf du Pape, some of which may even end up in the pie. Now before we go any further, before we go any further I'm going to pour some of that out. Oh yeah, we're also going to use obviously all the normal cooking shit like olive oil, there's some left wing salt in that bowl and that's the freshly grown black pepper. So, I want to talk a bit about proportions because a lot of people become very neurotic about this and they think they have to weigh everything out like it says in cookbooks and so on, but you don't really because, to be honest, this isn't engineering, it's just cooking. We can see that for a shepherd's pie for two fairly fat people, that's a reasonable amount of mince, that is actually about 500 grams if you're interested, and here we have a few potatoes, those look like enough potato to cover the top. And if we choose a dish, I have done so, here's the one I've chosen, you can sort of see by looking that once you've got two packets of that mince in, and you've got a bit of onion in there as well, chopped up and fried, and you've got some of the mushrooms mixed in with it, that's going to be fairly full, isn't it? And then, to cover that with a nice crispy layer of potato, probably one and a half potatoes that size, so I'll use that one, and that one, there you go. Preparation of the ingredients. The first thing to get on, I'm sorry you can't see my face in this, but that's just too complicated. Potatoes, they need to go on and start boiling, ready to make the mash for the top. Now it's a simple fact, you can't see this either. Potatoes peel better if they're slightly damp. Use a proper potato peeler like one of these because, although it seems a bit poncy, it's actually less wasteful because you only take a tiny little bit of potato off. You can do it with a knife, but unless you're really very, very skilled, you will waste quite a bit of potato. Just to speed this up, let's imagine you've peeled the whole potato, the whole of both potatoes, like so, and then using your knife, chop them up into pieces about that big. They'll go in the pan to be boiled. Let's get rid of that. Onion. Knife, sharp. Knife sharpener helps a lot. Sharp as hell. Now, onion chopping, there's lots of theories about this, I don't really know any of them, but I think if you take off, you just do it this way, you just take off the nub endy bits from each end like so, because they're a bit, a bit hard, and then the skin, you will find you can get the edge of your sharp knife underneath it, and you can just peel it away. In actual fact, what I need to do, and I haven't got my specs on, but get the 
and you wouldn't be able to do this if I actually did it on camera, you get your knife under that very outer layer and the thing will come apart in a really very satisfying way. Because what I'm doing here is just taking the brown stuff off, but never mind. You know the Greeks thought that the universe was constructed like an onion with many layers. And now look at them. Anyway, let's assume once again we've peeled all that and put that in the recycling bin or whatever. Onion chopping, yeah, you can just chop it up like so. Go across it. You want to chop it up into little bits that are roughly, I don't know, chunks. That's what you want. Chunks of onion with a little bit of your finger in, something like that. Can you see that? Can you see that? I don't know. Look. Yeah. Chunks of onion. Do the whole onion like that. Uh, what else? Mushrooms, obviously. Don't get bogged down in all that stuff about cutting the end off because it's grown in a bag full of cow poo. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be cooked anyway. Just give them a bit of a slice. Like so. Slices of mushrooms. They're going to shrink a bit, remember, when they're in the pan. Uh, what else do we need to prepare? Oh yeah, the chilli. Of course, the chilli you just, again, take that slightly nasty nubendi bit off the fat end. Uh, and then... Mm. Um, hang on. Yeah, and then you can sort of slice it lengthways. You can't see that, can you? Uh, I'll do it. No. Look. There. Slice it sort of lengthways. Make sure you don't lose the bits from inside, the sort of seedy bits, because that's where all the heat and goodness comes from. Once you've done that, again, chop and chop until you've got little bits of chilli like that. Okay? Perfectly simple. You will eventually need to cut a piece of cheese off, but that's so easy. I'm not going to insult you with any of that. Dish is in the oven. The next thing we're going to do is fry the onion, then fry the meat, start adding bits and pieces, make this exciting. Jumping ahead, I've chopped the ingredients up because you don't really want to watch that and it's very, very simple. I don't want to insult your intelligence. I'll just... So look at that. We've got chopped up onion, potatoes chopped up into roughly equal sized pieces for boiling. There's the chilli all chopped up into small bits. I haven't done all the mushrooms yet, but I will do when the time comes. There's a the minced lamb. Frying pan with a nice thick bottom for doing the meat in. There is the pot for doing the potatoes and eventually we'll make the mash in there. And in the oven is the dish already being kept warm. So, stand by. <laughs> 